Yo, what's up, Mavericks? It's me, your boy, uh, your boy who forgot his tripod at his parents' house before moving into his new LA apartment where he can't find a job or an internship. But you know what? That's besides the point. Remember how, like, a couple weeks ago, I was like, hey, guess what? I'm gonna have a new video up on the channel soon. Well, <laughs> guess what? Turns out that's proven to be more difficult than it's been. It's edited, it's done, it's finished. All it has to do now is be uploaded. And I put it into, you know, YouTube, put in the tags, put in all the info, you know, did all the stuff that I usually do. Uh, and then it got copyright claimed, which is something that I'm used to. I I've gotten plenty of copyright claims on my other videos before. Um, you know, that's just kind of the deal with someone who makes content like myself that, you know, deals with other people's work is you're bound to get a claim every once in a while. And since I don't really have the following necessary to really monetize my content, that's not really something that's super bothered me um, up until now. Uh, because usually when a copyright claim happens, it just claims the revenue from the video, puts ads on it, and the revenue goes straight to whoever claimed the content in the video, uh, which, you know, I was fine with. I was like, whatever, big deal. I can't make money off the video anyway. Um, but more recently, uh, because YouTube just loves to be as anti-content creator as possible, uh, now it'll automatically detect content that is copyrighted in your video before you even upload it. Uh, during the uploading process, it'll actually check, which sounds like it could be useful, but then you realize if it detects enough copyrighted content, regardless of the context of the actual content, uh, it not only will claim the video, it will completely block it and prevent it from being uploaded, which is exactly what happened here with my James Bond video. If you go to there, and then I go click see details, you will see that the channel has been affected, but the video has been blocked and nobody can watch it, which uh, is, is, is big sad. And this is something that I also have had experience with in the past. It happened with my Lethal Weapon commentary video. It also happened with my Snyder Cut video where the video just got blocked completely. Um, so my response to it, because I was very confident that they were under fair use policies, uh, was I just put in a dispute and then within a couple days they were released from them. And some of them get, still had the claimant on them, but that's fine. But as long as I was able to upload the video, that's basically all I really cared about. So, like a rational human being, I was expecting the same thing to happen here for my first James Bond commentary for Dr. No, uh, because it got blocked and then I sent it a dispute. And then I was hit with something that I had not experienced before, which was that MGM believed that my dispute or their claim on the content was still valid and the video would still be blocked. That was perplexing to me. I thought that that was kind of, you know, the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But, you know, it was also fine. I figured, okay, well, maybe I just have to make some edits to the video. So what you can actually see a little bit of it on here. You see that I put a little yellow background on it. You can't tell with this frame in particular, but I put a film grain. I tweaked the color a little bit just to make it even more clear that this is not a substitute for watching the film. And, you know, if you actually look at the descriptions for most of my recent videos, I constantly encourage people to go watch the movies for themselves because I just want to support filmmaking. Even if it's for a movie I hate, I want people to see it for themselves and to make their own opinions. That's why, you know, film criticism to someone like me is something that I value in very high regard and think is so important. So I did that and I got blocked again by figuring, you know, maybe if I dispute it, it'll be different in time, but no. It also said that they still were upholding the dispute, which made me even angrier because as you can see, even though, you know, it's not like a major super change or anything, it's very clearly not the actual film. The video itself, just like my Lethal Weapon commentary video, is heavily edited. It has our commentaries in the background for a majority of the time. There are clips from other things, not from James Bond, in it at the same time. And I also mentioned those already changes like the film grain, the background, and the color changing. So this is in no way a substitute for watching the movie and should absolutely follow under fair use policies. And this is very frustrating for a number of reasons because I'm now left with two options, none of which sound very preferable. Uh, the first option is I just scrap the video entirely and thus scrapping not only the future commentaries but also my previously planned just retrospective video because I feel like that has just as enough, I, I've got, I have to use visual reference for what I'm talking about, otherwise it's gonna be a boring ass video. And if I'm not, you know, actually showing it as a substitute for watching the film, if not including like, you know, huge chunks of the movie regardless, without any sort of change or commentary or anything, then uh, that's what I have to do. And if that's gonna get blocked, then I can't make the video. So, you know, that's just months of work, hours of commentary, just completely thrown out the window because of a false, claim of copyright content being infringed, even though it absolutely, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, it absolutely follows under fair use law.
So that's the first option, to scrap everything and cut my losses and, you know, be stuck doing something else and I'll need to buy a new tripod or something because I don't have my tripod with me anymore. Uh, oh, but the second option is I can, even though I already put in a dispute, the next option from that is if you still believe that your content is under fair use or is protected from copyright, which I believe this is, you can put in an appeal. Now, the thing with an appeal is that it's basically a second chance to get your video, you know, screened or get, get it shown to the masses, I guess, which is the case for me specifically. Like I said, I'm not trying to monetize it. And, but the thing is, once you put that appeal in, the company, if they decide, nope, guess what? We still think it's wrong. They have the right to put a strike on my channel. Now a strike is very different than a copyright claim or anything like that. Cause a strike will actually negatively affect your channel in a lot of ways. And if you get three strikes, then your channel is effectively shut down. And that is a pretty big risk for me as someone who's not trying to even make money from their content, who is just trying to make something entertaining, nonprofit stuff for people, for my patrons who I feel I've screwed over because I've given them two months without any content. And I just, all I want to do is post the video. I even said in my initial appeal, I don't care if the video is still claimed. You can still monetize the video and get the revenue from it and I'll be happy with just uploading it. I am literally offering you free money and you're telling me no. <laughs> and of course, putting in an appeal is a major risk to me as someone who is a very small fish in a very large pond because MGM's a massive company. If they say no and discard to put a strike on my channel, th there's nothing really I can do about that because YouTube, like I said, who absolutely unequivocally, frankly, does not care about what happens to their content creators, especially the ones that aren't making any money for them. They don't have a team or anything. They don't have an appeals team that will actually look at it and see if the strike is valid or fraudulent. They don't care. They honestly do not care. You will get the strike regardless. I guess my only hope is that the appeal would go into maybe a higher up who understands fair use policies a bit more and would honest and would actually be like, no, yeah, this is fine. Because that's the exact thing that happened with the Warner Brothers video. And if you look up any James Bond movie clip online, with the exception of like things like movie clips, which I think get special licensing things, you'll find dozens of videos, potentially even hundreds of videos from third party channels who do not have direct permission from MGM or whoever is the copyright holder for James Bond at the time for whatever movie, because you know, it's switched back and forth a couple times. They're just full clips, completely unedited, and they're allowed to be screened, but this heavily edited video of just me and my friends talking about James Bond with some visual clips for reference is not allowed to be uploaded, really? And the even bigger concern beyond that is that I'm worried I'm gonna to have to go through this entire process, which has already taken almost a month because they take forever to get back to you. And I'm worried I'm gonna to have to do that for all 24 of these commentaries that we did. It's very concerning and very frustrating. So yeah, that, that's basically where I'm at right now. Um, so as far as stuff for the future, my initial plan was to put out these commentaries over the next few weeks and then have that kind of be a steady stream. but. Now that's gonna be kind of difficult if this doesn't wind up going through. So I think I am just gonna put the appeal in. If it's one strike, you know, it's one strike. And then I know for the future not to make any more content about MGM's stuff, because apparently they just don't understand fair use law if they actually believe that this violates copyright and isn't fair use. But I guess in the meantime, I guess the other thing I have is we <laughs> we did a speed racer commentary a while ago. I don't think that's MGM. Is that Warner Brothers? I don't even, I think it is Warner Brothers because it's the Wachowskis and they work with them a lot. Um, so you know, Warner Brothers has been nice to me in the past. They've upheld, you know, fair use laws and they reviewed the footage. It was like, no, yeah, this is totally fine. So maybe I'll just do that and we'll have that out by the end of the month because I, again, I want to give you guys content and I, and I swear, I swear, I'm trying, I'm trying to give you content. And the, the, the big man upstairs will not let me. And hopefully this gets resolved soon. Uh, but yeah, ho I hope I don't have to throw out, you know, the hours, weeks, months worth of work that I did. And my friends and I just watching and loving James Bond and just want to talk about and celebrate the legacy of this iconic franchise. But if MGM doesn't want free ad revenue, which I've offered them, then I don't really know what to do at this point. I know I'm, I feel like I'm talking such a big game, even though I have like what, like a, oh, 200 subscribers. Uh, but you know, I just want I just want to upload a video. That's all I want to do. I don't want money. I don't want my, I don't know how clear I could be. I don't want money. Don't give me a strike for something I haven't even uploaded yet, please. I just want to upload a video for people to enjoy. That is all I want.
Thank you for listening. I know MGM probably isn't watching this. So, you know, next time I talk to you guys, I might I might have a strike on my channel. I don't really know, but we'll just we'll just see what happens. So thanks again so much for listening. I promise, regardless of whatever happens with this, something will be on the channel by the end of the month that is not an update video. I promise you that is my solemn vow here and now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your patience, and I'll talk to you soon.